In today's video I will show you how you can easily identify radial meniscus tears on MRI. Hi, my name is Dr. Christoph Acton and welcome to another quick tip in MSK radiology. Now let's jump right into the case. So whenever you have a knee MRI and you suspect something with the meniscus, be it on your coronals or sagittals, whatever, you see any signal changes down here, it's always worth having a look at the axial sequences. So I think sometimes this is not appreciated enough because it really shows you nicely, especially radial tears. Now, why is that? That's because you can see here on the lateral side where we have this uh, quite nice looking meniscus, as we can see here, we can see it blacker at the base because the meniscus is thicker there. So there is less volume averaging. And when we go to the tip of the meniscus, it kind of like fades out because the volume where we have the tip of the meniscus is kind of like brighter with the fluid and cartilage around it. So it's kind of like less dark. Now watch here on the medial side, what's happening here. We can see the meniscus again. This is the kind of like the tip of the meniscus here, the free edge. And here is actually a radial tear. And we can quite easily identify this here on this sequence when in fact it should look similar like on this uh, side here. So just look at the transverse sections and you can identify these radial injuries like this one here. This trick is also great to understand more complex meniscal tears. For example, here on this medial meniscus, we can see, first of all, there is the tear. And it's not just a radial tear this time. So it's a kind of like a parrot beak uh, tear here so it's kind of like a radial component and a longitudinal component and there is a flap that's kind of like you know a um, folded a little bit inwards so this is another great way to identify and better understand more complex lesions if you look at the axles as well and here in another patient even in cases like this again we can see the lateral side we've got the black outer portion then it fades out a little bit and if you do the same thing here on the medial side this time we are a little bit less lucky, but we can see there is an abrupt disruption here. You can see it here as well. So radial tear at the transition of the posterior horn to the posterior root, complete radial tear. Obviously this is something that you can also see on all the other sequences because this is quite an obvious case here. But if you just scroll through, you might miss it. So I think the axles are quite nice in showing us these kind of things. If you like the content that I'm doing here, then you have several options to support my YouTube channel. You can become a patron where you get uh, exclusive videos every month, or you can also buy a t-shirt or a hoodie, just like this one here down on the sh like in the shop, and you find these different pieces that you can buy down there. So that's another way to support me, or just give the video a like and make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.